Well, in Esquimalt today, students were moving out of their modern school and into an historic building, one that welcomed its first pupils nearly 100 years ago. The Lampson Street School was closed in 2007, but it is conveniently sitting just around the corner from Ecole Victor Brodeur. That francophone school is overflowing, and the demand for French immersion in Greater Victoria is on the rise as well. CTV's Andrew Johnson has the story. Grade 11 students at Ecole Victor Brodeur are starting the school year with a history lesson. It's all around them. My dad's friend, she used to come here when she was a little girl and she was telling me how it was so cool and I'm really happy I get to see it. Lamson Street School creaks and the students say it's kind of creepy, but they're just grateful for the extra space. I think it's nice. It's a nice change. We had a bunch of little kids upstairs. It was hard to maneuver around them and, you know, in high school it's a little bit different. Their eco-friendly school was just built in 2007 to accommodate 540 students. Administrators quickly realized it was going to get tight. In the last four years, we have an increase of around 60 to 70 percent of the uh, number of students. Every year. Every year. Victor Brodeur offers a full French program rich in Francophone culture. Francophone doesn't mean French from France or Quebec. It means from Africa, it means from Asia and everything. School District 61's French immersion program is also becoming a bigger draw. Parents line up to sign up their kids. Our French immersion program in Greater Victoria School District has, has steadily experienced growth over the last few years. In fact, we have about 25% of our student population enrolled in the French immersion program. We asked Greater Victoria parents to weigh in on our Facebook page and on Twitter about whether they enroll their kids in French immersion or not and why. Here's what you had to say. Lara says it was a tough choice, but we chose the enviro-friendly route, the local not-French school that he could walk or bike to. Heather responds, I have three in French immersion, easier for a better paying job when bilingual. Lindsay tells us, I didn't because I wanted her to have a good grounding in English. And from Missy Dunn, yes, because my kids are both smarty pants and needed new challenges in class because they were getting lazy. <laughs> Victoria has the third highest French immersion enrollment in the province. Andrew Johnson, CTV News.